Few companies have enjoyed a greater transformation under a CEO than that of Ulta Beauty with Mary Dillon at the helm. We have said to you over and over again that this company is the pulse of the consumer and is riding an amazing wave of the need to look good the moment you walk out of your house or apartment because the cell phone is combined with Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat to make it so you presume you're going to be on candid camera. We've loved the stock ever since Dylan came to the company, and today Ulta Beauty had a full-day analyst meeting where it raised guidance and told a startlingly positive tale, even for someone like me who thought he knew the whole story. Investors clearly liked what they heard from the company as Ulta's shares rose more than 11% today, bringing them back within striking distance of the all-time high set in August. I want you to know more about this company and its analyst day, which is why we are thrilled to welcome back Ms. Dillon to the show. Mary, you st- your stock moved $27 today. Tell us what you said that you think people got excited about to move the stock that much. Well, you know, today we talked to our investors about our long-term growth plans, and we simply updated them about how optimistic we are about our ability to continue to drive market share growth and unit short unit growth, and uh, very excited about the future for Ulta Beauty. Now, I read through your deck, which I encourage everyone to do because it is so comprehensive, and there's a lot in there about the notion of millennials, teens, different demographics embracing cosmetics and hair because it's a new generation, basically, that knows they're going to be photographed. Well, that's right, Jim. I mean, we're really focused on the beauty enthusiasts, and that's a segment of women who love to shop for beauty. But also, as you know, everybody's got a great phone in their pocket. Everybody's taking pictures. Who doesn't want to look good in a picture? I don't know anybody who doesn't. And so we really play into that in terms of millennials and teens and also Latinos. Latinos are one of the fastest growing segments of the population in the U.S., and they love Ulta Beauty as well. So I would say we're really set up for many years of growth ahead. There are many companies that try to do a loyalty program. In the end, it's just about discounting, discounting, discounting. Your loyalty program has far more people in it, and it's much more successful, but it is not about deep discounts. I'm really proud about the Ultimate Rewards program. We have 20.6 million members today, and our guests love the program because it's very simple. The more she shops, the more points she gets, and she can use those points for anything in the store. So it's a great way to drive value for our guests, and we can also really target her with offers that are exciting for her. We know what she likes to buy, and we can bring her new and exciting um, offers, samples, and promotions all the time. One of the things I found uh, was... uh really uh, kind of went through the whole presentation is there's a lot bigger market than people realize. I think a lot of people felt that maybe Ulta could be at one point tapped out. Uh, Anything but that is after I read the deck, right? Right. Well, you know, it's interesting. So we've been growing like crazy. I'm proud of that. But we're still only a 4% share of the $127 billion beauty market in the U.S. today. So we see an easy path to continue to grow share. In fact, double our share, we believe, over the next few years. And it's, we think, partly because Ulta Beauty is the way that she wants to shop. We call it all things beauty, all in one place, all different categories and price points and brands and services, right? And so we're set up well, we think, to continue to drive great, profitable growth. Now, we know that Walgreens decide they want to be in there very big. We know that Sephora is a real competitor. Uh, what are you doing in order to fend off the competition? Well, you know, honestly, all we can do is focus on who we are, who our guest is, and deliver a great guest experience. I'm really proud about our associates and our stores who love what they do every day. So there's a lot of places that you can buy beauty on any given day, but nobody brings it all together in one place like we do at Ulta Beauty. So all we can do is run our offense, not to use a sports analogy, but it actually fits here, I think. Uh, I, we are trying to figure out the few retailers that are left that seem Amazon-proof. When I uh, look into your e-commerce strategy, I look into your social media strategy, I think that Ulta Beauty has probably uh, really uh, put a wall around itself versus Amazon. Uh, is that intentional, or is it just because of the nature of, of having uh, hair care, nature of cosmetics? But you're doing something that has made it so Amazon has not dented your growth. 
Well, I'll, like I said, we know that our shopper loves to come and shop in person for beauty, and she also buys a lot online as well. Our guest, who in fact buys online with Ulta Beauty and in our stores, is our best guest. And But what she's buying online is quite incremental. She's actually not just replenishing like items, she's buying new and exciting things all the time. Plus, she has to come to our stores for our great services. So, you know, we just think that we've got a model at Ulta Beauty that works really well for the guests that we're focused on, and we're focused on making sure that we deliver on that promise to her every single day. All right. Uh, I think that one of the things I look, I went over this story with my daughter, Candidly, before I went on, and she says that like a lot of people, she prices at Sephora and buys at Ulta. How much on average do you find same brands less expensive at Ulta versus Sephora? Well, you know what? Actually, at Ulta, we carry a whole range of brands and categories that nobody else offers. So we've got mask, prestige, mask cosmetics, prestige cosmetics, skin care, hair care, fragrances. So we have the biggest array of products. And our prices well, are very competitive with any place else that, we, that our guests might shop. But what she loves is by, is by using the loyalty program that she gets points that she can then use at Ulta for anything in the store. So the value equation at Ulta is quite compelling to our guests. Well, excellent. Look, I want to congratulate you. You know, I felt that the stock was went down ridiculously 40 points after what was a very good quarter. You clarified a lot today. I really want to appreciate, really, really appreciate you coming Thank on. You. Mary Dillon, CEO of Ulta Beauty. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim. Look, the story's not done. As a matter of fact, I feel it's very early on. I know a lot of people felt that it was tapped out. Uh, you read the deck. Listen to what Mary said. That's far from the case. Mary Dillon, CEO of Ulta Beauty. U, that's U-L-T-A. Man Buddy's back at the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs. Plus, market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.